Welcome back. Well, uh, the markets, uh, they're trading more or less sideways, uh, actually. The Nifty is unmoved. The problem today is the mid-cap index. It's actually starting off on the back foot, and that's taken a bit of a knock. So just keep an eye out on that. Uh, you have Vodafone idea that's up close to around 9% as we speak. Uh, I think uh, the only alert that we have is uh, the reappointment of Mr. K.M. Uh, uh, Birla. He's been appointed as additional director. So I don't, don't know whether there's any fresh piece of news, but Vodafone Idea is up close to an 8 to around 9% as we speak. But as promised, let's get to our next uh, corporate, uh, ICICI Pro Life. They reported a strong set of numbers in the fourth quarter. The company achieved the target of doubling the VNB in four years. Well, uh, to understand more about that, we have the management with us. Mr. Kanan joins us on the show. Well, Mr. Kanan, thanks so much for joining in. What's the target for the next four years now? You know, in the immediate term, could you tell us how do you see the VNB going forward? And also, what's the VNB margin target, Mr. Kanan, for, uh, uh, you know, FI24? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nigel, for uh, having me on your channel. And good morning to all the viewers as well. Uh, so, you, as you rightly pointed out, uh, four years back, uh, I had uh, promised uh, the street as well as our own board that uh, we want to be doubling our uh, BNB in this uh, mm. four years' time. So, as you said, I'm very happy to report that we have actually more than delivered on the target. We have more than doubled our BNB. And this uh, particular year, we have seen a growth of 28% uh, on BNB year on year. And particularly for the fourth quarter, we have seen a 36% growth. So, this has been our BNB performance. You talked about uh, what is uh, in store in the future. So uh, two aspects I want to highlight to you. One is that uh, the opportunity is intact for uh, life insurance in the country and more so for protection line of business. Uh, and uh, so in this overall context with the regulatory tailwinds also with us, I do believe that uh, we can grow the savings line of business in line with the nominal GDP growth rate of the country. Uh, but protection and within the retail protection has uh, more room to grow because uh, we are coming out of the pandemic uh, because of that the base is uh, very low uh, there have been a lot of supply side constraints when it comes to retail protection business and finally after uh, sort of uh, showing some sequential growth in the few quarter, few few months uh, leading up to march uh, we actually saw a year on year growth of 28% in retail protection business as well which is a higher margin business so all in all uh, this would be the outlook from the top line growth perspective you talked about the vnb uh, yes. Our focus will continue to be on uh, absolute uh, value of VNB. Uh, so I do believe that uh, the VNB going forward would be driven uh, more by the top line growth. And not to say that uh, margins cannot improve, because as I said, with the retail protection being a higher margin business, getting a higher proportion of our product, mi product mix than what is there at currently at 17%, there could be an increase in the margin as well in the medium term. So all in all, uh, the potential is there to further probably double our VNB in three to four years' time. But as you know, uh, we are uh, uh, going through this succession plan. Uh, Anup will join. Uh, uh, he will succeed me in uh, June. So he will be uh, articulating a specific target going forward as well. Mm, but can double VNB in three to four years' time as well? Uh, the absolute uh, uh, numbers. But of course, uh, get, take your point, Mr. Kanan. Good morning. Uh, on uh, APE, uh, will you see uh, growth in AP in FI24 over 23? Uh, good morning, Prashant. Uh, definitely, because uh, if you look at our own performance in the last uh, four years, uh, if you look at non-ICICI bank channels, we have actually grown at 18% uh, APE uh, on a CAGR basis. And uh, last year, even including ICICI bank, we grew our APE at 20%. And uh, given that ICICI Bank declined during the current year, at, or rather financial year 2023, at 38% year on year, uh, still we put out an overall growth of 12% APE. So I think uh, more than green shoots have developed on the growth side. So I do believe strongly that uh, in FI24, there would be a growth on the top line as well, apart from will it be, growth. Of will, it, will it be a low? Uh, I mean, what kind of could you give? Uh, I don't want to numbers? speculate as of now. Uh, so low low, low single digits, mid, mid single digits. What kind of oh, clearly, clearly double digits. There's no question double about digits. it. I think okay. clearly double digits. Uh, given that, uh, as I said, uh, the savings line of business has the potential to grow at the nominal GDP growth rate and retail protection having a lower base growing at a much higher rate. Clearly, double digit growth is what I would see uh, for uh, financial year 24. Okay, so double digit growth is what you're looking at for financial year 24. Mr. Kanan, good morning. But, you know, with this growth is coming elevated costs as well. So I wanted your thoughts on that. You have in the recent past said that your costs will continue to be elevated, but the cost ratio at the end of FY23 was over 20%, 21.5%. Uh, do you see it go beyond that in the near term? 
and also you know there are these recent budget changes where you will have to spend higher on distribution would that continue to keep your cost ratio elevated as well uh, sonia good morning thank you for having me on your channel uh, Uh, so you talked about the uh, cost uh, growth uh, first of all i want to say that uh, our vnb numbers are after taking into account the full expenses so what you see as a 28% growth on vnb year on year is after taking off on the cost fully so the way we have been working sonia in the last 4 uh, years uh, is that uh, not only we had to deliver the vnb uh, during this period but we also want to invest for growth so that is what we are seeing coming through specifically we have invested in the uh, proprietary channels including agency and direct channel for example in agency we have increased our uh, uh, managerial staff the frontline managerial staff by about 30% during the year but typically the uh, the output or the productivity of agency develops over a year period so while we are focused on vnb delivery in the short term or the medium term we were also focused on a future growth and laying a good platform so to that extent i do believe that uh, this will uh, play out and as i say that vnb takes into account the full cost what we have delivered 28% growth in profits is after uh, accounting for the full expenses and as i said mm -hmm. earlier the vnb margin could be stable or going up going forward the second question you asked about the expense of management changes these are regulatory changes not from a budget perspective but again uh, i can assure you that uh, we are already within the limit stipulated by the regulator and the expectation of the regulator on the industry will also be while there is a leeway which has been given uh, that we would operate within that and over a period of time i expect them to bring down the uh, the the, the uh, expense of management limits as well because ultimately we'll have to give a good proposition to the customer while ensuring viability from our perspective i think this is going to be the approach so i don't see uh, anything whatsoever from our perspective as our company in terms of cost structure going up on account of the eom regulations All right, you know, Mr. Kanan, some part of the street was a little bit concerned about your losing market share. But I'm reading an Investec report, and they say that your quarter four numbers clearly indicate green shoots because there is a pickup in uh, protection as well as reduced dependence on ICICI Bank. So you're seeing market share coming back now after losing out for the last few quarters. Do you expect this trend to move up? And if do you have a targeted market share that you could give us? Uh, it dipped a little bit. I think you lost a few basis points, but now you're recovering. Uh, Nigel, uh, thank you for uh, uh, you know mentioning this. Uh, I do believe that uh, we have to look at our business uh, from an APE perspective, uh, from yes. uh, uh, from ICC Bank as well as a non-ICC Bank channel perspective. If I look at a non-ICC Bank in the four years, we have actually picked up market share. We have not lost market share. However, given the priorities of ICC Bank, we have seen a sort of a, a reduction in distribution by ICC Bank. But if you look at yes. the numbers, as you correctly pointed out, now ICC Bank is accounting for only 14%. So when we are only uh, from 55%, when ICC Bank has come to 14%, the base is such that uh, we can only grow from here on. <clears throat> so that is the uh, that is why you have seen the Q4 numbers also. Uh, uh, you know, uh, actually more than green shoots is what I would say. They have actually uh, grown a lot. and i believe that given the kind of channel mix we have well diversified channel mix we have irrespective of what happens to a particular channel or a particular partner we should be able to put out an overall growth that's what we have come okay one final question from my and you know the irdai has asked all insurance companies now to focus more on direct sales and to grow that channel just trying to understand what uh, percentage of uh, your premium comes from uh, you know direct sales and how much do you think you can grow it by over the next say 2 to 3 years So, if I look at our uh, agency business, Sonia, it's about 26%. So, okay. I do believe that uh, while the focus will be on direct, there will be focus on agency also going forward. As I said earlier, we have invested a lot in this channel in the last financial year, so that will grow. And on the specifically on the agency side, uh, we have uh, about uh, sorry uh, on the direct side, we have about 15% of the business coming from direct, and uh, that is uh, poised to grow because. Uh, technology digital upsell cross sell all these will be the levers to push the uh, direct business as well so i think it is again has a uh, you know leg to grow leg room to grow in terms of uh, being uh, you know putting out a growth which is higher than the overall ap growth for the company so that is what we will be focusing on as well and there we will be able to direct the products which they really want meeting the customer's requirement understanding the customer requirements better and do an upsell cross sell as well so that is going to be the focus i do expect in the medium term the 15% direct Uh, going up in terms of the product mix going forward, mm. Mr. Kanan. Uh, before we let you go, uh, personally, what are your plans, sir? Post June, will you be uh, joining so another insurance? 
I, I will uh, I will put it in uh, two faces, uh, Prashant. Uh, as you rightly said, uh, up to June, I'm focused completely on the business. So I'm here till uh, June, and uh, the focus would be uh, to ensure a smooth uh, transition. Post June, I haven't really thought about it. So we will you will get to know when the time comes. I myself will get to know when the time comes. Yeah. <laughs> There's a possibility you join another insurance company. Uh, not at all. As I said, I've not thought about it at all. Now I want to confirm to you that I haven't thought about it at all mm. as of now, and we will see what happens in June. So when uh, Anup Bakshi takes over, uh, any changes? I mean, I'm sure you all have discussed this ad nauseum, but any changes in the approach to the business? See, the, uh, Sonia, the way I look at it is that Anup, uh, I know Anup uh, as a valued colleague of ICICI for three decades, and in fact, uh, he uh, he and I were in the business school together, so I know him for more than three decades now. So I know his uh, mind uh, quite well, I, I presume. Uh, second and more importantly, from a company's point of view, he has been a non-executive director of the company for four and a half years now. So he's been an integral part of the strategy formulation and making sure that uh, he supports the team uh, ICSA Prudential. So I think that part will uh, continue. Uh, generally, I do not see any change in approach in terms of having to grow the value of uh, new business in, on an absolute basis. I think that uh, approach will continue. But having said that, each CEO uh, brings his or her own uh, perspective into business, which will be very valuable for the company and the shareholders as well. Okay, all the best uh, for your future Thank plans you, and I'm sure Anup has some big plans for the company as well. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Kanan, for joining in and uh, have a great day. Well, that's uh, the word coming in from ICICI Pro, but let's move on.